Welcome back YouTube. Alright, so I decided a way to make these videos and I think I'm going to do a 3 minute video per champ. It cuts the 10 minute videos that I don't want to do and I have made an improvement on my rehearsal as well. So I hope you enjoy the next videos. I'm going to expand more on classic top lane matchups such as Fiora and Riven, but I'm going to skim through rare counterpick cheeses such as Karma and Cassiopeia. I rank the difficulty from 1 to 3, 3 being a hard matchup, 2 being skill based or medium, and 1 being easy. The ranking will be based off my experience and my opinion, so don't be surprised if I say I find Trundle a hard matchup but you find him easy, and then you're gonna say Riven's a hard matchup but I think she's easy. Sadly, I'm gonna have to skip out Aatrox and Akali because Aatrox already got reworked and Akali is soon to get reworked so if I do one for Akali it will make no sense because she's already gonna be gone by the time I upload it. In this video we're doing Camille. I put her rank 2 and I was close to putting her rank 3 but she still has some weaknesses to point out. Her Q has outrageous scaling since it scales to even compete versus your alt damage. Her passive makes trading complicated. Her W poke is a bit annoying and her mobility is triggering. She has 3 part mobility with a move speed buff on her Q. She can also dodge your Q just by pressing R as well as locking you down for a jungle gank or a team fight focus spot. Her late game is complicated to deal with because her Q matches with your ult damage so she can basically fight you in ways that you don't even understand. She roams 10 times better than you and can do a lot more honestly just because of the mechanics in her kit. Most of the time she's in control of whether or not a fight is going to happen between the both of you. I'm going to run through her abilities and see what you can do to play around it. Her passive blocks only physical damage versus you so this benefits conqueror and grasp users. Your ultimate and cheap shot should also be unaffected so there is plenty of assets to work with. Her Q gives her a move speed bonus every time she uses it. This information is important because a good Camille player will Q a minion, walk up in W from range, and back off with the movement speed bonus to kite you. You'll find these kinds of players the higher your elo because most of them know how to beat Darius. You need to whittle him down and then finish him. Technically you can't beat this tactic because of the range, but what you can do is use second wind and Doran shield because of the long cooldown. Her second Q will deal true damage and procs with trinity force and AD items which means as I already said it mirrors the type of damage with the ultimate. To counterplay the damage you either have to stay away from her, have Sterex ready or force her to take an extended trade because she sucks at extended trades. Her Q is delayed which provides reactive counterplay similar to your Q so if she doesn't use the QW tactic just treat it like a Darius Q and dodge it. Her E is easy to dodge if casted from range, but it is almost impossible to dodge if you're trading near a wall because you can just instantly do it. It stuns all units hit so it can be another whittle down technique such as she Qs a minion, then she E's to the wall and stuns you, auto attacks then uses her second Q and backs off with her W charging up for a clean and flawless trade. Her ultimate makes her untargetable for a brief second and traps you in a zone, meaning you are exposed to any incoming damage such as a jungle gank or a team fight. You can mess up her W with your E depending on how close she is, and you can also mess up her E with your E depending on when you cast E. You can both stop her drag and launch, it just depends on how you timed your E. Her E does stun you, so it means tenacity does help. As for her, there is basically no counterplay unless you are thinking of stopwatch, a timed edge of night, or a dead Camille. Her late game is problematic because of her damage and honestly, I would advise you not to fight her unless you built damage items to become a threat and actually duel her successfully. As a last piece of advice, this champion is mainly control of whether or not you two can fight because you can engage on her or start fighting her and then she just bails out with E. What you want to do is make her want to engage on you with E so that she doesn't have an escape. Thanks for watching and now I'm going to go on to the next champion.